Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Oral Washington rant. This is the continuation of, of the series, The Law of Love. Today, in this um, particular subtopic, we're going to talk a little about dating. Now, the reason why I want to mention about dating is because uh, I've not personally, personally been doing different research about the topic based on dating. Uh, so far, my, my research that I've gathered, I don't want to find out that, first of all, the whole concept of dating comes from a, a European concept. It came from a one came from the European country about dating, then a, then ended up migrated down to the West, which is the United States. Um, there, there, are, there, are other, there are other countries right now um, who are more traditional, and what, when I say traditional is that uh, most of these other countries, like uh, like Africa, like Asia, the Middle East, um, there's different. Uh, countries and cultures like that, they're they're more they they have the more traditional thing about dating. In other words, son, they they concept about dating is that dating do not exist at all in these cultures. They what they believe in is that once when you um um link up with when a man and a woman link up, then they actually is married. You know what I'm saying? And so, so they, so they believe that uh, once, uh, once when you know that person connects together, then they, then they marry. You know, they don't, they don't believe in trying to find out about the wrong person. They don't believe in trying to want, you know, um, date a person into a certain period of time, which you know, some may be like months, years, and stuff like that, until you finally decide to marry that person. They, they'll marry that person right then and there. You know, they, they have a series of arranged marriages as well, where they already know um, right off the bat that they're going to be married to this um, person when they get older. You know, the, the reason why I'm mentioning all of this is because um, uh, there's, I've not been, uh, and also been, been noticing in our culture right now, in, in North America, in our particular culture and in Europe as well, is that our whole concept about dating is like horrible. Well, what it is is that when when we date someone, when we when, let also let me un- clear, clarify when I'm talking about dating too, so you know what I'm talking about. When I'm talking, talking about dating, I'm talking about um, actually um, a couple who de- who decided to take their relationship to to the next level. They they decide to actually be committed to one another throughout the duration of. The relationship, you know what I'm saying, which is called dating, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they made a commitment like, uh, I don't, uh, we're not going to talk to any, I'm not going to talk to no more women, I'm going to be only committed to you, and the one will be likewise, I'm not going to talk to no more men, I'll be committed to you, and stuff, and that's what we call dating, or another name, the older name is called courtship, you know, but... So the reason the, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because, once again, in, in our culture and stuff, um, um, the the whole concept about dating is is um, pretty corrupt. You know what I mean? Uh, we we treat dating as us going to a car dealership and test driving a car for a very long time. Then if the car don't don't have the the whole essential thing that we're looking for, then you then you um put the car away and find your new car. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we treat the concept of dating as well. You know, we'll, we'll sit up here and talk to a person for a very long time. Um, it'll be like for months, even like years and stuff before you even remotely even consider marrying a person. You know what I'm saying? Then, then the thing about it is that when you do when you do stuff like that, then what will happen is that you, you end up... Um, Losing a lot of time as well. This um, um, the man ended up losing a lot of time because he committed like about two years or three years or whatever being with this one person and stuff. Likewise, the woman she loses a lot of time too, especially if the person is not who you want to be with. You know what I'm saying for the rest of your life. Now the reason why I'm mentioning this is is because um, I'm starting to believe that the whole concept of dating is actually a cheaper way. Of saying that you're married to the person without being legally married to the person. What do I mean by that? I mean that it's it's basically like when when you get married to a person, you're you're bonded by a legal contract. When the whole term about marriage, that's all it means that you're bonded legally to that person. You know what I'm saying? Um, and legally that that means um you're bonded to the person uh, spiritually and 
uh, lawfully, which is the law of the land and stuff too. That's why they give you uh, a certific certificate um, showing that you um been married in matrimony, which uh, if you have time, look up the, the, the whole term married in matrimony too. Um, but in a, in a way and stuff, um, that, that's what I'm saying is like the, the, the dating part, all of this is a cheaper version of being married, you know what I'm saying, With, without the rules and regulation of being married, you know what I'm saying. So a person who date, you know what I'm saying, their whole mindset is, is that they're not thinking about uh, the long term, so they're thinking about the right now, you know what I'm saying, they're thinking about how this person is treating them right now and what this person going to do for you right now, you know what I'm saying, they're not, they're not uh, honestly saying like, hey, um, I'm into you. Uh, I want to be with you, and I want to take this dating thing. Uh, next, uh, I want to take this dating thing with the full attention of being married to you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't want to mislead you, nothing like that. But people don't do that these days. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so that's why I'm bringing up this whole concept about dating. That, that I think that this dating concept is is what's what's um destroying a lot of relationships. You know, uh, people they 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 um. Uh, um, go and test drive each other and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And they'll, they'll test drive each other um, for a minute, you know what I'm saying? For a long time. Then finally, when they get tired of them, they just, you know, that's where, you know, different stuff still happen. Like cheating happens uh, when you cheat on each other, you know, there's different stuff like that start happening stuff because you start getting bored with it, you know? There also another concept I want to mention about dating is that there are, there, there are people. They're out there as well that will um, date for the simple fact that they don't want to be lonely during the process. So they'll find, a, in other words, they'll find a suitor um, so they could just, you know, satisfy the need so they won't be lonely, you know what I'm saying, so they can have their companionship and stuff. So they, they do that dating thing and stuff too, you know. And so these type of these type of people, what they do, they just end up settling. You know what I'm saying? They they know good and well that the person you know is not a match for them. They know that they have a problems with the person. Uh, they know um, there's different stuff about the person and stuff too. But yet and still, they stay with them. And this is where you find a lot of relationships where you deal with abusive relationships where for some reason either the man or the woman you know what I'm saying uh, they don't want to leave the person because they, they believe that they love them and stuff right and they believe that through through the uh, physical and mental abuse and stuff right they, they honestly believe that this person cursed for them and stuff you know what I'm saying but the whole point of that is that they don't want to experience being lonely you know what I'm saying and so they, they they don't want to experience being lonely at all and stuff, you know. So, the like like I'm saying, I'm I'm still trying to uh, figure out this uh, thing about dating. Like um, like like also right now, you know, what I'm saying I'm, I know I'm one of the ones who, who are guilty of dating. Um, now now uh, you're probably asking yourself, well, is it is it wrong for us to date and stuff? On uh, how do you feel about that? How how I honestly feel. About uh, the whole concept about dating is this, and, and since I don't um, grown and mature a whole lot more, I honestly feel that if you say that you want to date a person, I feel that that uh, the, the the moment when you make that choice that you want to actually date a person, I, I honestly believe that uh, both persons need to understand where the relationship is going. When you say you're dating. It need to be be uh, honestly straight up your intentions behind it. You know what I'm saying? You need to want uh, to tell the person like, "Hey, um, I'm interested in you. You have full potential and stuff, right? And you and uh, you share a lot of qualities that I'm looking for in a man or in a woman. So so therefore, I want to take this a step further where we can where we can link up together and so we can want to eventually be married. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I want to work through the process of being married to you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be committed to you and only you as though as we are married. You know what I'm saying? But we're not married. You know what I'm saying? Because I want us to get, I want, I want us to have time to, um, I want us to want to have time to, you know, get things together, you know, uh, financially, get ourselves mentally ready to be married. If it, if it takes for us, you know, take a like premarital classes and stuff like that, uh, you know, let's go through the process of doing it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, and that's, that's why I honestly believe, you know what I'm saying, that you should be straight up with your attentions. Likewise, at the same time and stuff, right? Um, 
If, if your intentions is just for you, that's to have a sexual relationship only, then you need to tell that man or that woman straight up, like, I just want a sexual relationship, and that's it. Don't be playing no games. Don't be on doing extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just be honest and real about it. If that person agrees to it, then so be it, you know what I'm saying? They agree to that. If uh, What would be wrong is that you sit up here and trick a person into thinking that's what's going to happen. You know, you'll sell them a pipe dream talking about, well, I want to um, take this relationship to a step further, and I want to marry you and stuff like that. That's how you can um, smash, you know what I'm saying? When you do stuff like that, then that that is wrong. You don't do that. And that's the reason why so many relationships have a, so much problem as it is because of so many people is being abused in relationships and they losing trust in one another. The man losing the trust in a woman and a woman losing trust in a man. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody doing the same as that bull crap. You know, so it's, it's a point in time where now that, you know, everybody have to get to a point of maturity in your relationships. You know what I'm saying? So, well, why, why not just be straight up honest and direct, you know what I'm saying? If that's what you're looking for in your relationship, a sexual encounter or a non-sexual encounter, you just want to be friends in a relationship, mention it right off the bat. Just help us communicate and let let the um, let each other know that that's what's going to happen, you know what I'm saying? If um, if you don't let each other know what's going to happen, then, then what's going to end up happening is that you're going to end up damaging that person, you know what I'm saying? You're going to damage them mentally and spiritually, you know what I'm saying? Then therefore, that's what caused all this stuff that happening within our marriages where, where the divorce rate is very high because you're dealing with broken people. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Then these people are expecting you to fix them. You know what I'm saying? But in actual action, you can't fix them because you've been damaged yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're broken as well. You know? So, so, so my um, so, so my time is over with this on rent, uh, and, I, and I hope y'all want uh, kind of learn the concept about dating and stuff. And I want to go even deeper into about explaining this concept about dating even further. But I, I'll let y'all know more as I want uh, research this thing more. And till then, um, like I always fight, fight, fight faith with faith, and know that I'm praying with y'all. Peace.